This is a uh, follow-up video from a previous video we did talking about the distributor testing machine. And in this specific video, this is for setting up Ferrari twin point distributors. Ferrari twin point distributors really need to be set up on a machine like this, a distributor testing machine. Like uh, this is an Allen machine or a Sun machine would also be good because you need to, you've got two sets of points in there. One set of points uh, fires off for three of the cylinders and the other set of points fires the other three cylinders. So if the points gaps are different, just a, just a small amount, then the timing between the firings will, will drift. So I've put this straight into the machine. I know the distributors, this distributor is quite dirty and worn and definitely needs setting up. So let's turn it on and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> so I set the cursor up so that you've got, you should have equally spaced ignition events. But as you can see here, the gap's very tight and here the gap's quite large. But they should all be e completely equidistant. So on, the actual, on this cursor that we've got that I rotate, it actually has marked up on it for six cylinders, eight cylinders, and, uh, and four cylinders. So these, this, these ignition events should line up with the sixes. So, look there, this one lines up, that one lines up, and that one, but these three don't. And that's most likely because the points, well, it will definitely be because the points are out. So we'll turn it off, adjust it, and try and get those ignition events at the same time. Okay, so to adjust it, it's just like adjusting a normal set of points. It's pretty easy. Get your feeler gauges, screwdrivers. So for this, you've got a range of 0.3 to 0.4 millimeter that we can work with uh, as the points gap. You'll probably have one that's like one set of points is on say 0.3 and the other one's at 0.4 because you've got to, what you're really aiming for is to stay within that range, but most importantly, get your ignition events at the exact right timings. So let's start off by adjusting it back a bit to the middle of the range. Okay, so let's try it again. There we go. <coughs> In fact, I've got it pretty much exactly right straight away, so here we can see we're on the six there, we're on the zero there, we're on the six there, we're on the six there, we're on 180 degrees there, and on the six there. So yeah. So they're 60 degrees apart, obviously, because it's 360 divided by six. And that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Now, the next thing we want to try, we want to test to see if the automatic advance is working. So we're going to wind the speed up, and we should see this rotate by 15 degrees if the advance is working correctly. So actually, well, I'm going to bring it down to idle first. Okay. Let's slowly bring it up. Nope. Centrifugal advance isn't working. Um, yeah, that's pretty stiff actually. So this distributor is going to have to be completely torn down, totally uh, rebuilt. So that's working correctly because that is that's stuck, and that's why it's not advancing by 15 degrees when I wind the speed up. We probably went up to about 10,000 RPM just then. Um, yeah, so that's all there is to it. If you've got a Ferrari distributor, uh, the best thing is send it into us. I can tune it for you and send it back. Mm -hmm. 